But first, an exclusive months-long bulldog investigation. Six months since a local police officer plowed into a van, killing three victims. The families of those victims, the survivors, still without answers as to who is at fault. Thanks for staying with us at 6. I'm Sharon Reed. And I'm Sean Gables. Chief Investigator Jonathan Carlson has learned exclusively the crash is now under DA investigation and the city of South Fulton has offered the victims a seven-figure settlement. Jonathan. Yeah, hey there, guys. I've learned the state has handed over their investigation to the Fulton County DA, which confirms it's investigating. This is the city is proposing a major payout. This Chambly apartment building is where Menfil Martin Perez spends most his days. He said that he's healing, but when he walks 10 to 15 minutes, it starts hurting the 26 year old spoke to us through a translator and showed us where his leg was broken in two. He hasn't been able to work since. They were coming from Panama City. Headed north into South Fulton County when this intersection turned from day to tragic night. They were stopped at a light. Yeah. They, they heard sirens from a farmer when they looked. They were saying he, they didn't like see a police officer, so the light turned green. And the van Perez and five others were riding in turned and then turned over. A South Fulton police officer smashing into the side, the end to a chase no one saw coming. Three died, three survived. It took up until last week for the county coroner to positively identify the dead, because all in the van authorities say were foreign nationals. Some families in faraway countries not notified of their loved one's death until now. Was the chase justified? Shortly after the incident, we pressed the South Fulton police chief for answers. They're putting the questions on you. He refused to give them. But weeks later, the city implemented a new chase policy, forcing officers to let stolen vehicles go. Policy aside, we still still don't know how fast the officer was going, if his lights and sirens were both operational, and if the chase was justified by the book. Our request for dash cam video has gone unanswered. It's now in the hands of the county's top cop. He feels like it's up in the air whose responsibility it was. Back at the Martin apartment, Menfil Martinez Perez is waiting for closure. He lost three work buddies and is trying to repair his life. Has this impacted his life, his ability to work? He's hired an attorney. The officer that caused the crash, Deontay Walker, remains on the force, but on desk duty. When we visited the South Fulton Police Department once again, the chief declined to comment. And just days ago, we learned the city of South Fulton has offered the survivors and the victims' families a settlement of $1 million to split. An attorney for the city telling me that's the city's maximum liability in this case. It has yet to be accepted. Sharon. Uh, Eye-opening investigation. That sum, though, is stunning. I'm sure it will be to many at home. Million dollars to split.